All right, you're going to have to forgive me. It is like 5 in the morning, and after some drama in my life and not being able to go to back to sleep, I figured, fuck it, I'll get up and do something remotely productive. Anyway, I know I'm late on... Fuck off, cat. I know I'm late on this, the whole AMD Ryzen thing. I mean, well, I, I saw it, I watched it live, and then I went to bed and went off my life. Here's my whole thing on the Ryzen thing. This is amazing. Essentially, it kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z at the end when, you know, the Frieza saga, when Frieza's in his perfect form and beats the shit out of Vegeta and he's laying on the floor and Vegeta's like, I thank God I live this long to see this day and Frieza's like, ah, shut up, bitch, and throws a laser beam through his heart and kills him. It reminds me of that. Like, AMD actually looks like they're coming out swinging. Right for the jugular, a cheap shot, and it fucking Intel's nuts. If the Ryzen... CPU is what they say it is, and I know, you know, from what little Cinebench tests they did, whatever the fuck it's called, you know, the one that shows the processing, the first test, you know, it barely beat the 6950X or whatever by a hair, but keeping in account that the CPU isn't fully optimized yet, it's matching the far more expensive Intel chip, and the Intel chip's at what, 165 watts, and they're saying Ryzen is at 95 watt TDP? and it's not fully optimized so it could possibly be lower and higher clock speeds but I just uh, talk about it like a karate chop in the fucking throat I, I can't I can't believe and on the second test it won by 10% you know but these are just two kind of you know it, it just shows great growth but we all know how these companies are I mean when AMD was showing off the 480 it showed the 480 and SLI destroying the 1080 in ashes of singularity so obviously they're picking programs that show their stuff in the best light but nonetheless even if this is remotely as good as they say and a 40 percent jump in cpu processing power is amazing considering intel has been jerking us off for the past couple years with this 10 percent at best shit ah check out our new 6700k i'm like i'm listening intel and they're like it's only 10 percent better and i'm like oh wow and amd just bops it out now oh, we did over 40 percent we met or exceeded expectations that's great it's great for the industry it's great for us consumers because whatever they price this at which i have a strong feeling it's not going to be as expensive as the one thousand dollar cpu counterpart from intel this ryzen will cut the bottom out of intel's fucking cpu market like just cut it out and it'll fall on its ass that's what it's going to do we're probably going to see 59 60Xs and 69 whatever the fuck Xs dropping in price substantially, even in resale value. Because frankly, even if this isn't as good as it is, they say it is, even if it doesn't really beat what Intel's offerings are, but it's comparable or just slightly not as good. You know, maybe not, it's just a little bit under. It'd be a no-brainer. You'd still buy the AMD CPU for the simple fact the thing thing performs and it's at a lower price range but right here this is a game changer i feel this is the market needed badly because everything and prices were going out of the just going out the window i can't wait to see what intel does frankly their car their cpu offerings are gonna have to drop in price next time around or they're just gonna be destroyed i would definitely buy an amd ryzen cpu over an expensive Intel CPU if I'm getting the same or similar performance for even half the price. Even they put this CPU out at like, I don't know, $400, $500? No brainer. No fucking brainer. The $1,000 CPU, I bet if they put it out at $700 to $800, it'd still be a no brainer buy. Especially if the performance is fucking there. That's what AMD has been lacking. But this time around, I think they're finally coming good and I hope to god it does then later in the whole conference they show off some of vega you know they show vega with the ryzen just playing battlefield 4 uh, battlefront sorry they're playing battlefront at 4k over 60 fps past the refresh rate of the monitor now this is awesome but but i'm still skeptical because it's battlefront in Battlefield 1, they showed off those games. These are two very well-optimized games. 
I would love to have seen more tests or a more demanding game. But they're both demanding. But I'd love to see something that had like a bit more trouble chugging along. Like Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. How come they didn't do a 4K benchmark of that at Ultra Settings? I would have loved to see how it handled that. That would have given me a more real world perspective on what I could expect if I get these this combo of the Ryzen CPU and the Vega GPU. That's what I want to know. How does it run Mafia 3? A muddled mess at 4K. If you could power that shit at 4K, sign me the hell up. I mean, that's just my feeling. I know some people defend AMD and I'm totally into what AMD is doing. I'm just saying they pick some, you know, things to show off that makes me say, yes, it has beaten Intel here, but could I see more? But it's still in development apparently so there's room to improve also the base clock is 3.5 they're talking about how ryzen will be able to boost itself overclock which you know for me it isn't that spectacular i mean intel cpus have been doing that for a while uh, it's like a gpu i'm used to like you know my graphics card all of a sudden revving itself up under the right circumstances but the fact that it's smart enough with these 100 or so sensors in the cpu to realize what cooling system you have like ah this is running on air this is running on water this is running on liquid nitrogen which frankly honest to god anyone running liquid nitrogen nitrogen is a professional overclocker and they're at some big expo doing something like or someone who's got money to burn all right i don't even know where to get liquid nitrogen i shouldn't even be trusted with liquid nitrogen because i pour it on an ex-girlfriend's car and smash it like glass and you're probably like gundam you can't do that with liquid nitrogen i know but it's my fantasy. Mine. <sighs> Honestly, uh, AMD looks like they're killing it. And I hope it does well. Also, there was some other talk of like Andy's Vega 10 destroying the 1080 and Doom 4K benchmarks using Vulcan, I believe. I can't remember. But, you know, fingers crossed that all these rumors are true and everything that they said at the press conference is true because if it is. PC gaming is only going to be better than ever and more affordable than ever and 4k will be a realistic goal I mean, I don't know what the Vega GPU is gonna cost people writing to me and speculating Oh, you know the 1080 Ti 900 or 899 dollars the Vega GPU will be 499 which honestly if it is wow another great piece right I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. I am have lost my mind. I've lost it just thinking about this because I didn't think about it. I watched it, I was like, okay, cool. And then I woke up today and I really thought about it and I'm just like, all right. This gives me hope. This gives me hope. I mean, I would not mind having an eight core fucking 16 logical thread CPU because of all the editing and shit I do. It'd be fucking wondrous to actually render a video in 4K and not have to leave my house for an hour or two because I hate the outside world. I hate all of the textures. Oh well, I'm gonna quit fucking around. I'm getting the hell out of here. Uh, sorry for wasting time. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. And adios, bichachos. I'm still here, even though I think YouTube is trying to kill me. Where's the stop button? That wasn't even funny. I'm gonna go choke myself with a belt while jerking off in a closet like Michael Hutchinson from NXS. Lonely.